Right, action. After nine weeks, this is the end of Watchmen. Or just season one. So let's get into this. The episode starts with Adrian White saying to Robert Redford that he planned to get him to be president. And an Asian cleaning woman is doing some naughty stuff. She takes one of those bottles that Adrian is keeping secret. She puts something in and put it back. And she assembles uh, one of those needle guns and she filled it with, um, you know, the thing only men has and shoots it in her... Uh, yeah. Moving on. Then it fades to a person walking in snow. The person walks into a snow base in the year 2008 and Adrian opens up. It is revealed that the person is Lady True and she knows about the squid in New York. She also tells Adrian that Manhattan is not on Mars, but in Europa. She wants to confirm where he is and take his powers. So she can destroy the new, stop starvation and cleaning the air, according to her. And she is Adrian's daughter. So the Asian in the style was her mother, and her name was Bian. In the prison cell where Adrian is under the mansion on Europa, the ground starts shaking because a ship comes to the moon, and he digs down under the ground and comes out. The warden comes out of nowhere and shoots Adrian, but he ain't dead. The two of them fight a little bit before Adrian stabs him. Adrian arrives on the ship and an AI voice talks to him. They are leaving Europa now. It's revealed that the message he wrote on the moon in one of the previous episodes was save me, daughter. He goes into one of those conservating things, the things that made you make you sleep for a very long time and that made him into gold. True went to her daughter and wanted to tell her something, but she already knew it. The gold that covered Adrian melted off him. Well, there must be a cool story behind that. They went out and buying, then buy some new newspapers, and True gave it to Bian and says to the time capsule. Then the clock moves around, loading its energy to kill Manhattan. An old guy comes into the place where Laurie is captured, and the old guy is Senator Keen Senior. Looking Glass comes to Laurie, but disguised as a member of the cavalry. The portal thingy that was in front of Laurie is actually a trap where Manhattan should be captured and the cannon that shot him in at the end of last episode didn't destroy him, it sent him here. Yes! Senator Keane gave some kind of mail luck while he takes off, while he takes his clothes off? What? Okay good, he still has his pants on, yes. What? I I see this as an absolute win. Oh, f he takes his pants off. Oh, God! Really? You have to bring him up now? I mean, we were having a moment. He says that they will meld Manhattan. He wants to become Manhattan. Let's get blue. And Laurie is here because Keen wants someone who loved Manhattan to see him die. At least he doesn't take his underpants off. I'm about to become the most powerful man alive, Lori. Waving my in people's faces is just overkill. Out of nowhere, Angela has a gun pointed at all of them. She says that True is going to stop them from doing this. Keen goes into the capsule and the calorie turns it on. The lights go dark and a beam comes out of the trap. It doesn't kill them, but teleports them under True's clock. This is like a goddamn race who can have Manhattan. True opens the capsule Keen was in. Yes, I said was. It's nothing else but blood in there now. Keen's blood comes out into Manhattan's trap. This is not for kids. Keen's blood comes into Manhattan's trap. So what will he do with it? He notices it. They wouldn't show us that he noticed it without giving a payoff. Mrs. Crawford interrupts True and she confirmed that she was going to kill them. And guess what? True did, and Manhattan touches Keen's blood. There we, there we have the payoff, and teleport Looking Glass, Laurie, and Adrian to Adrian's base to save the day. True opens her clock, and the reason he didn't send Angela away is because he didn't want to be alone when he dies. 
True fires the clock and destroys Manhattan, but slowly, painfully. But in the end, he's gone. I love you, Angela. Adrian fires small, small squids, but now they're dangerous. I think they have been frozen down to about minus six degrees, I think. Beam wakes up Angela and says that her and her friends have to go. Laurie called Angela so she could run away. But before True got blue, the squids came and smashed her hand. But she ain't dead yet. Angela takes a briefcase over her head and runs away. And, wants and runs away. But True's clock stopped working and fell down on her. Angela ran into a theater where Will is. Angela's kids is on the stage, sleeping. She tells him that John is gone. Will changed his name to Reeves after Bess Reeves. And he helped John to get killed, cause whatever was going to happen. John should die. Angela invi invites Will to live over at the house and according to her, just a couple of nights. So it probably isn't going to be just a couple of nights. Adrian and company says that he had his ship, Archie, frozen. Looking Glass punches Adrian unconsciously and they dragged him into the ship. Angela and company arrives in her secret base and one of her daughters spotted her suit. They go into a car and drive back to their home. Will says to Angela, considering what he could do, he could do more. Probably foreshadowing that he ain't dead. The eggs that was destroyed in the last episode, she cleans up but one egg didn't get destroyed. A call back to the bar. He can give life. So John isn't dead? Anyway, Angela walks up to the pool and eats the egg. Ugh. She takes her pants up and she walks on the water? What? Well, it's not confirmed if she does, because the screen cuts to black just before she touches the water. If they make a season 2 and it starts with Angela falling down into the water, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> <laughs> 